come back. Thank you for joining in with us today. Um, and uh, just to recap, last week. Uh, Thank you for joining in. So last week, uh, we um, talked about booking hotel rooms. And uh, we hope that was somewhat preparing you to plan for your trips. Uh, and uh, what do we have this week, Jimmy? Yes, uh, before we start today, I have a very easy warm-up question for all of you. So you need to pay attention because this is a P question, okay? It's not a free question, but it's a P question. It will worth 20P for you uh, if you answer it correctly. So pay attention. Here's a question. The question is, what is accommodation? What is accommodation? So okay. what is the answer? Um, so we're looking for answers now. Yes. So what is accommodation? What is accommodation? What does it mean? What does that mean? So people still think I think it's, it's so. uh, a little too... Yeah. So we will wait for your answer. Yes. Uh, just put that mm -hmm. here. Just, I think okay. you have to turn off the PP. Uh, I, I, I did. I did. Uh, very good. That is very good. OK. So uh, yes, I forgot to tell you that sometime for a certain, for a certain question, you can answer it in Vietnamese. So it's okay for you to answer it in Vietnamese and depends on the question we might accept it, okay? And like in this case. But we will still also want to encourage you to always try in English. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry if you might get it wrong. You might get it right next time. But mm -hmm. if you hesitate, if you don't want to try it the first time, you will never actually do anything. So, um, so like this one, uh, can you, do you want to announce? So, uh, Tatsan C4 is the winner for this round because he said, Nơi ở, yes. I understand sometimes it's hard for you to say it in English. Uh, accommodation is actually a place to stay. Mm. So it could be a hotel, it could be, you know, a, a house, an a apartment, house. Mm -hmm. anything that you, anywhere that you can, can stay. Can is, stay and, and live in. Yeah, okay. so that's accommodation. So, uh, as you remember, uh, last session we taught you about, um, uh, what was that? Eating out and, sh and shopping, right? Mm -hmm. Eating out and shopping. So, you can use the, the, the conversation of eating out and shopping anywhere in any um, uh, international airport in the world. If you want to go shopping at an airport, if you want to go um, eating in an airport, it's the same thing, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. So this time, uh, as we told you that we will help you to plan for your trip. So this is a conversation in the airport. And this conversation may happen uh, when you go into the airport. And uh, in this case, uh, we are going to pick me air. Through We're Pip going air. through pick me air. So um, I will be the passenger, and Miss Cathy will be the uh, round crew. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she worked on the uh, check-in desk. She is the receptionist for the airline, mm. for the Pitme airline. So I work at the uh, the counter at the Pitme air counter, and I will be uh, the ground crew checking in uh, customer uh, client, or you would call them passengers to be the most accurate. So uh, imagine, imagine that I am a traveler or I'm a businessman, okay? I'm on a trip. And uh, yeah, I have my bag with me and everything. Miss Cathy will be at the check-in desk at the uh, airport. So listen, after the conversation, we have question for you to get P. So pay attention, okay? Okay. Then we start it. So Okay. In. Uh, good afternoon. Where are you flying in today? I'm flying to Los Angeles, uh, USA, please. Okay. Can I have your passport? Yeah, my passport. Here you go. Okay. Thank you. All right. Are you checking any bags today? 
Uh, just this once. Okay. I'm gonna right. check this one. Uh, can you place it on the scale, please? Okay, I'm gonna put that on the scale for you. Where can I use this scale? Okay. Here you go. All right. Okay, and, uh, that's good. Okay. So I have I have a question. Okay. I have a layover in the Incheon Airport mm -hmm. in uh, Seoul, Korea. Do I need to pick up my luggage over there? Uh, oh, you don't have to worry about it. Your luggage and your belongings will go straight to LAX, oh, okay. uh, which is your final destination. Wow, then that's really good. Uh, uh, and okay, so um, here are your boarding passes. Thank you. Uh, your flight will leave at gate 15A. It will begin uh, boarding at 320. And your seat number is 26E. Okay, thank have you. Have a safe flight. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, um, was that fast? That was a conversation uh, me and Miss Kathy make it for you to understand how you get your flight ticket from the check-in desk. Okay? Here is the question. Okay. So, just repeat that. Okay. So, uh, there will be two questions. Each question is worth 20p, okay? The first question is, where am I flying to? Where am I flying to? Where? So start putting the, uh, the answer in the comment right now to get p. So Miss Kathy will check it for me. If, okay. uh, I'm checking. Okay, we have an answer. Yes. Uh, I think it's correct. You are correct. Congratulations. Can you announce the um, it? Mister, I think it's uh, Mr. Right? Vung C4, Los Angeles. So thank you for your answer for question number one. Miss Kathy will help me with the second question. Okay. Question number two. How many bags Jimmy checked in? How many bags Jimmy checked in? How many bags did I check in? So uh, I'll check for your answer for question number two. Yes. How many bags did I check in? So we have. Yes, I think we have we have an answer we have an answer here too. Uh, Va Yui is the uh, right uh, answer this time. Thank you, Mister. Uh, I mean, I think it's a Mister, right? I, I think mean, so. I don't know. Thank yeah. you, Va Yui, and uh, uh, what was the first uh, winner? Um, so that. Mr. Vung C4, thank you for your answer. So let me go through the conversation uh, one time slow so you can understand uh, what happened. So first, I'm a traveler. I walk in and Miss Kathy greet me with... So good afternoon. Where are you flying to today? Good afternoon. Where are you flying to today? That's, you remember that's like four more conversation greeting, right? And uh, it's, your, uh, it's normal, I say, I am traveling, I'm flying to Los Angeles, USA, mm. please. So that's where I'm flying to, mm. right? So Miss Kathy asked me, uh, may I have your passport? That is very important. When you want to fly to any country in the world, mm. you need to have your passport, okay? Mm. So that is a, a very important piece of uh, document, just like your ID. Um, and with the, your passport, when you give it to the Crown group, crew, uh, they are able to check and pull up all of your information, your flight information, your booking, uh, so that they don't have to ask or check with you. Sometimes they do for confirmation, um, but usually that's all they need. And then they have all of your information so they can prepare the the pass or other documents for you. So and then after Miss Kathy asked me, are you checking any bag? Also the word checking. Mm -hmm. Or you can say uh, we can write it in this way too, like checking. Mm -hmm. Right? Are you checking any bag? Are you putting any like you know in an airline in uh, in uh, I would say for an example of Vietnam Airline, they would they would let you to um, check in two bags, okay? They would let you check in mm. two bags and one carry-on. So the carry-on, my carry-on, is this one. Mm. 
So I'm going to bring it with me to the airplane. I bring it with me to the airplane, right? So the other bag is going with the plane already. Mm -hmm. So it's not with me. This is my carry-on. So with the luggage that the passenger check in, so we will ship that to the final destination. Uh, and with the carry-on, the passenger would carry it with them on the aircraft and usually will have to put it away in the, the bin uh, above their head or sometimes beneath their seat. So the word luggage, luggage is, is like bag, okay? Like your whatever you carry with you mm. or you're checking in, luggage or bag, bag. okay? Yeah. So um, next, Miss Kathy asked me to put my, uh, my bag on the scale because I, I don't have a scale right here so I use a chair instead on the scale. So, um, so you pretend that that is a scale. I right pretend there. that is a scale. So let's say the word scale. 